Hello everyone, this is Survival Man 1 speaking here. So I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how uh, how to find all the elemental weapons, uh, including the Colosseum and the Breath of Wild of the Zelda game. So, first on the list uh, is the Frost Blade. Um, of course I'm at the Zora's Domain, this is not where it's found. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Where we're gonna go today is uh, for the Frostblade. And yes, in the Colosseum actually has all of the elemental weapons known, but there is not known a there is not a known location other than the Colosseum for the Frostblade. So the Frostblade will be found here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do for for starters for now so you can see uh, where it is found. I have been doing some research and trying to uh, debunk uh, other locations as well so you can find that in, the, in those locations too as well. So let's, I'm gonna go to this shrine right here. Alright, here we are at this shrine. Now, uh, let's, uh, from here, we just need to get on top of over there. So, let's, uh, get a, let's get over there as quickly as we can so I'm not running out of time. Alright, now, since I'm at the cliff here, we are going to uh, put on our climbing gear, and if you have your climbing gear at its fullest, you'll be able to um, do a climbing jump and stamina up, which allows you to climb a lot more faster and be able to climb by jumping up on the cliff a lot longer than normally. And it starts to rain, of course. Not a good idea to climb when it's raining. So what else can I do? Huh. I have an idea. Let's do this. Doesn't really give me the, the height I need, but I can always do it twice. And now, since we are here at the Colosseum Ruins. Now. Now, in here, you will see there is a plethora of other weapons besides the Frost Blade being here. But I want to forewarn you, there is a Lino found here. Depending on how far you are in the game, the, the Lido will increase uh, in strength. So, early on in the game, it will be a red Lino. And then, later on in the game, the more strength you get, it will become a blue Lino. And then, uh, after, uh, after a little while after that, it will become a white mane. And then, after that, it becomes a silver Lino instead. So... After it becomes a silver Lionel, then it stays right at that point. Which means that you would have to deal with a silver Lionel up, and, up until you kill it, of course. Well, it keeps it, <clears throat> keeps, it, keeps, it, keeps, it keeps it here when there's only a silver Lionel at this point, depending on how much strength you have in the game. Meaning, how much hearts you have, really. Uh, there's a 
great frost blade here, there is a, a thunder blade, there is a great thunder blade, there is a frost spear, there's a fr flame uh, spear, there is a uh, the frost blade that I speak of, there's a thunder spear, there's the, there's the frost blade right there, in case you didn't, in case you see that little spot down there, in case you don't see it, right here. So that's where the frost blade is found, right there. Um, there's a, there's a, um, yeah, so there's the great flame blade as well in here, too, which is way down here, you see it? Way down there. Yeah, so way down there. So this is where all the main um, elemental weapons are found. So this is only one spot so far that I know of that the um, frost blade will be found. So the next thing on the list is the great frost blade. So I'm going as I'm going through the list, I will show you where the main locations would be found besides the Colosseum first before the Colosseum is known. Um, for starters, okay. Um, so the Great Frost Blade, I actually found one other location uh, for this blade. So other than a secondary location, I should say. So you need the Snow Quill Armor or something that helps you with the cold temperatures. Um, if you have the snow boots, go for it because you're going to need that. Uh, then, we're going to go all the way over here. Um, we're going to go the, the most... This shrine right here. However, we need to be there at night, by the way. And I'll tell you why once we get there, of course. So this first video is going to be only the frost weapons, so keep this in mind. And then the next video will be the the electric weapons, and then it's going to be the fire weapons. So I'm going to try to keep it short, so keep that in mind. Uh, so to find set frost, great frost blade. I'm going to make sure I am well equipped, because uh, you never know what could happen here. So I'm going to grab this. Actually, let's see. Yeah, I do have the Master Sword. Yes, I do. Alright, I don't know if you know. Alright, this guy likes to... You know what? Alright. Did not want to get hit, but all right, I could deal with this. Hang on, give me a minute. This guy just does not want to leave me alone. Good night. There we go. That one just did not want to leave me alone. <laughs> all right. So to find set great frost blade, is that you have to deal with a stall, stall nox, which is right here, by the way. Uh, this will only come up at night since. It um, doesn't come out in the during the day. Of course, you guys knew that. But the Great Frost Blade will be found, as such, right here. Okay. Now the Great Frost Spear, or the the actual Frost Spear. There is one location. I actually know there's two lo locations that I actually uh, there's one other location besides one. But before I get to the Frost Spear, there is one other location besides. Uh, one, one, one other location, which I will not go to, by the way. Um, down in here, inside, uh, Hyrule Castle, in the under cavern side, so, under, the, in the underground of the, of this castle, somewhere down in here, uh, it will be stuck into a ground, uh, near the library. So you would have to do some climbing, uh, so the library is right about in here. So it will be found in the library, but not inside the library. It will be near, off in the hallway near the library. So you would have to go there somehow, 
and then climb up to the doors above and the great, great frost blade will be stuck in the ground on a dirt mound in a hallway next to the library. So keep that in mind. Um, so now, as speaking of spears. Now, for this spear, there's two locations. One, as you can see, right here on the map. This one is, you have to fight to get this one. You would have to fight a Lysophos, I believe you have to fight. I forget which one. But you do have to fight one here. To get this one. Okay, now since we're here, we're inside of a cavern, so don't worry, I can get myself out, don't worry about it, I'll get myself out of here. And there's the entrance, if I remember correctly that this was part of a, sh well, not a, a shrine quest, but this is a, a way to get inside here, as you notice that I walked away from a shrine, which means you have to enter here by using a giant snowball to knock down the door. So, it's like a little maze up out here. Try to get the snowball down right to the caverns down in there, so. Let's see, wherever do we need to go? We need to keep going this way, like I was doing the right thing. As you know, the snow boots really do help out a lot in the snow, so it's always a good thing. Okay, I'm doing some paragliding. Alright, now I'm at the location of where the, the spear is found. Um, I already have enough spears uh, for frost spears. As you can see, I'm not going to activate the battle here. But from here, you can see right there. A looks like a blue Lysophos, it looks like. Um... That is one that is going to be holding it, but I, it is a Lysophos, so as long as you defeat it, you get that. No problem. Well, those are the frost uh, weapons for, for this video. So, on the next video, I will be making uh, the, the fire uh, ones next. So, I will be uh, showing you uh, how to get the frost or the, the fire elemental weapons on the next video. So if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Peace.